whale hello there uh welcome back to the whale channel i am Eva, and i am here today to do some halloween makeup but like a true beauty youtuber i'm filming this at 1 23 in the morning <laughs> like are you a youtuber if you don't film at the early hours of the morning um so you've probably seen from the title what i'm going to do today is hades makeup um, I don't see a huge amount of Hades makeup because I looked it up on YouTube. Hades is one of my favourite villains. Um, even though some would argue that he's not a true villain. I wouldn't disagree with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip away from you guys. I'm going to take the lightest shade of shape tape that I own. And I'm going to do a base. And I am back. So I have put on the palest version of shape tape that I own which is porcelain beige. It is my normal shade of foundation because I'm just this pale normally. Um, I also took a ton of powder and powdered my face. And as you can see, I kind of made my eyebrows disappear. I know I look ridiculous, but it's a process and you need to trust me. <laughs> You'll also notice in this video that my brushes are filthy. That's because I actually practiced this look, which is an unusual one for this channel, but I'm super proud of myself. <laughs> I'm going to contour as Hades. So, Hades, as you can see, not a guy who likes his warm tones. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some grey eyeshadow that I have. I'm going to mix a little bit of it with some normal setting powder, and I'm going to use that to contour. This isn't how I did it during my test run. I just used the grey straight off, and I found it was miles too dark <laughs> so I'm gonna give this a go and see what happens so now I have this which I'm going to use to contour my face I'm going to have to wash all of my brushes tomorrow <laughs> but that's a problem for future Eva <laughs> but I'm just going to contour the way I would normally contour my face I'm gonna be honest, this looks better than what I did the last time. Alrighty, cause it's more of a gray tone. So, it looks like it's patchy on the camera, but it doesn't look patchy in the mirror, which is super strange. So Hades is my favorite villain. Well, one of my favorite villains, purely because Hades is underrated, 100% underrated. I love Hades so much. He's one of those characters that is just so funny. <laughs> I love Pain and Panic. Pain and Panic are incredible. Uh, we are worms! Worthless worms! <laughs> Memo to me. Memo to me. Maim you after my meeting. They're like two of my favorite sidekicks as well. And he's just one of those characters that people have sat on for years and I don't think he's appreciated enough. I'm not going to contour my nose because I did that on the practice run and it kind of looked ridiculous. I'm just going to grey my neck a little bit to keep with the aesthetic of Hades. How can someone blame you for turning into a villain if they're like, do you know what son? You're going to be head of the underworld. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go in and take, I have a really gonna find a different palette. I'm going to take the palette that I bought and have used once for this fabulous blue shade called D4. It is also the only shade I have really used and I'm just going to give a little bit of an extra oomph. That looks so patchy in the viewfinder. Doesn't in the mirror. It's so strange. How many bets this doesn't work out the way that my test run did? What is fun to know about Hades is that he's actually modelled on the person they wanted to voice him first, which was Jack Nicholson. And you can see it when you're watching the movie. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is these. So I kind of blank them out as best I can. I don't have any white grease paint and I'll be honest, I don't want to try and glue them down and clear them off. So I'm just going to get a really dark navy shadow and I'm going to do my brows with that. 
when you watch it knowing that fact, I tell you, you can tell that Jack Nicholson was supposed to do the character. Those eyebrows are working out much better than they did when I did the practice run. The only thing I wish I had right now was some clear brow gel because my brows are out of control at the moment. I look ridiculous right now, I know. I've always liked Hercules though. Not just like as a movie, but like everything that came with it. We had a PlayStation when I was younger. Oh, well, we had this Hercules like demo game. And you only got to do like four levels, but I swear I played those four levels like on loop for years. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a transition shade. And what I'm gonna use for my transition shade is that lovely gray contour powder that we made earlier on. And I'm gonna bring it like right up to my brow. I know it's super dark, but it will make sense. I promise. Just gonna do the same on the other eye. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take another dirty brush that I've already used. And I have this really nice, it's not like a baby blue, but it's like a non-pastel baby blue. And I'm going to run that through my crease over and over again in windshield wiper motions. Everyone sits on Hercules as a movie. I know it was popular at the time, but now, how many people like tune into Hercules? I think that would be a good one for a live action remake actually. It's and most people are gonna know what I'm gonna say here. Hunch back enough to that. I do think that's one that could be remade quite easily. Especially with what they've done with Hades in other shows. Like you've had him in Once Upon a Time and in Descendants. If they put Cheyenne Jackson in a movie playing Hercules, I would be all over that like that. But they need to give him a song. I'm taking the same brush and I'm putting a dark navy colour over the blue. I have reasons for putting it over the blue. I want to bring that lightness into the crease where I'm darkening it up. Don't worry, this will look better. I'm going to cover everything in glitter. Could you say this makeup look is subtle? No. Am I a subtle human being? No. I'm going to take this brush because it's a little bit more structured, like thinner. And I'm going to take that very light blue that I put on my eyes and I'm just gonna put the tiniest little bit of it in the contour just to define that a little bit more and I want to get in the different shades of Hades flames so I think this blue is perfect for that I'm just gonna use the tiniest little bit of it on my forehead time for the lips and I'm a bit confused about what to do because what I had been doing was a very dark lip. I don't think it's gonna work with this. Oh my god, it feels so dry. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> so, I think I'm pretty much done with the blue. I'm gonna go wash my hands <laughs> because they're disgusting. <laughs> and I will be right back. And I'm back. I did decide to put some liner and I put some mascara on. I'm not gonna put on lashes because, um, well, it's 1.59 in the morning and I'm not gonna play with glue near my eyes. <laughs> I changed my lips a little bit. I did just take one of the darker colors and just run it over because it was just too blue. And one of the last touches I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of the Mothership palettes. This is Pat McGrath. Mothership. It is the OG. It cost me way too much money and I'm going to take one of her astral shadows, this guy here. They're not even shimmers, they're like just pure glitter but not chunky glitter. And I'm gonna pat it like pretty much everywhere with my finger. And it's one of those colors, it just reflects the light incredible. And I think if you were in the parks with all the lights and stuff, this would look amazing. And guess what? I'm also going to use it to highlight because why the hell not? So, the next part of the plan is the final reveal. 
And here we have the final reveal. So, dye my hair blue. Just a spray that's gone in. I'm now going to have to shower to get it all out. But this is my look of Hades. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that jazz. If you want some more action from us, head on over to Instagram. We are whale underscore pod underscore. We're the same on Twitter. We have lots of fun videos coming soon. As soon as we can get together, there will be more vlogs, there will be more adventures. So we will see you on the other side. Thank you.